So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, pretty much the easy isomerism. Like, so how do we identify easy uh, the the easy naming versus the the cis trans naming, right? So I want you to keep in mind that E represents it's pretty much equivalent to trans and Z same. I think of Z as being same or in other words same. Uh, which is pretty much equivalent to cis. Now, we use these at different times, right? So we use cis trans. It applies to our kines, but only if the groups on either side of the alkenes are not all different, right? We use the easy naming only when all four groups across the alkene are different. When they're not different, when they're not all different, we use the cis trans naming. So I'm going to give you an example. If you're given this molecule, Would you use cis-trans or easy for this compound? What I want you to do is get used to drawing a plane of symmetry across the double bond. Now, if you look on either side of the double bond, not everything is different. So in other words, on the left hand side, I have a hydrogen. On the right hand side, I also have a hydrogen. So there's not four distinct groups around the double bond. So therefore, EZ is not applicable here. So here would actually use cis trans. Now, I want you to get used to drawing a line across the double bond and then assign priority groups. In other words, with respect to the molecular weight, right? So we know carbon, in this case, weighs is, is heavier than hydrogen. And so this is going to get the number one priority. Hydrogen, therefore, is going to get the number two priority. On this case, it should make sense that if we go one out, we hit a carbon. So we know that carbon is always going to get a number one priority over hydrogen. Now, if you look across each other, so if you look across each other like this, if the numbers are matching up, in other words, one goes to one or two goes to two, then we're looking at the cis isomer. If they're different, then we say it is the trans isomer, and this is actually the trans isomer. Right? So this is how you use the cis-trans configuration versus the easy configuration. Okay. Let's look at a different one. Uh, let me erase this. All right, so here we have two molecules, and we want to identify, okay, well, is it EZ, or are we looking at the cis-trans isomerism? Well, again, if we split the double bond across, you can see that we really don't have four distinct groups across the double bond, so therefore, this must be the cis-trans isomerism naming that we're going to talk about. And we have another video that, expl that explains the naming, but here we're just really... Uh, trying to identify, okay, well, are we using cis-trans or are we using easy? What is the difference? All right? So if I do this across the double bond, you could see that we're going to assign priority groups now. So because carbon is heavier than hydrogen, then hydrogen must get priority group number two. And you can see that this is the one, this hydrogen is also two. Again, notice that they're matching up on the same side. So we know that this must be the cis isomer. Here, we can see that hydrogen is definitely less heavier than carbon. So carbon gets number one, hydrogen gets number two again on this side, carbon gets number one. If I look, I could see that the numbers are different on each side, right? So one doesn't go to one or two doesn't go to two. So this must be the trans isomer, All right? Let's look at this one. All 
What if we're given this molecule? Let me... Would this be the easy form or the cis form? Or the cis trans form? Well, I'm going to split the double bond. If I notice here, I actually have four distinct groups on either side of the double bond. So I have a hydrogen, I have a, an H2 group, I have a fluorine group, and I have an ethyl group. So those are all different. And so in this case, we must use the EZ because all groups are different. So therefore, if that is the case, we're going to sign priority. We know that nitrogen is heavier than a hydrogen all day, every day. And we know that fluorine is heavier than a carbon atom. Right? So if we go one out, we get a carbon atom. If we go one out, we get a fluorine atom. We know fluorine is heavier. Now, if you notice that if you look across, the numbers are actually matching. And so this, we would expect to be the Z isomer. Or Zane, right? So we would not use cis here. We would use Z, right? So that is how we actually differentiate between the cis trans naming or easy naming. If we take a look at another example, First thing I'm going to do is split the double bond down. If I look, I really have four different groups. I have a bromine, an iodine, a fluorine, and a chlorine group. So if that is the case, I know that I'm using the easy naming scheme. Right? Now if I look, iodine is heavier than bromine. So no bromine gets number two here. And we know that fluorine is heavier I'm sorry, chlorine is heavier than fluorine. So we know chlorine is heavier than fluorine. So in other words, if we take a look across, we can see that numbers are actually matching up. And so this would be the Z isomer. Right? Zane. Right? Again, we could do the same thing for the trans. We could actually draw the trans isomer. Or oh, I'm sorry, not trans isomer, but the E isomer. Again, if we split the double bond down the middle, we assign priority groups. So you know that iodine is heavier than bromine, and we know that chlorine is heavier than fluorine. Right? So if you look across, the numbers are different, and so this would be the E isomer. So this is how you differentiate between differentiate between an easy naming scheme and the cis trans naming scheme.